All right, I was watching back my commentary just now because it went on break. Almost missed the fact, like if I hadn't, I mean, this guy's taking forever, but if I had missed the fact that I drew kings on the first hand, that would have been not good. Um, so, but as you can see, like I said, I'm running good. I'm getting good hands. This is just, I'm just gonna, you know, it's, it's not like, oh, this is my lucky tournament, you know, but it's just in the variance. Sometimes you'll just get a, a large number of very good hands and good runs in a row. Uh, it'll just happen, and that's what's happening right now. That doesn't mean I expect it to continue happening or anything. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to raise him. Please don't hit a four. Please don't hit a four. So as you can see, I'm just getting lucky. Like I said, I got an opportunity. I actually boasted, busted both of the chip minorities out, like I said I was hoping to do. Um, just running really good, though. So hopefully this will be over soon. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's, it's interesting game so far and, uh, I'm stoked that I finally really have, I mean, this is the first time I've really actually got first place. I've been pl probably playing these tournaments, like maybe a couple, few times a week for the past month or so. Um, yeah, the odds of actually making it to a final table, even if you're playing well, are like, they're fairly low in my opinion. Um, fairly low. Uh, I mean, it's a mathematical thing. It's not really opinion based, but based on what I think so far, it's uh, fairly low. Fairly low odds that you can even make it to this. Like you have to, you do have to, you have to get good hands, and they have to run good on the board. That's what happened to me night tonight. But most of the time, that won't happen. So that's why I say that I believe poker is a negative EV game, unless you're playing GTO, which requires a computer that is way smarter than you. Basically, like the ver like the chess, like um. The poker version of a chess computer is like the only way you really win. Or if you practice a bunch against that or study how it thinks. Yeah, but owning a, a GTO program, uh, I've heard it can cost like... I think it costs like five, six, five figures. I think it costs five figures to acquire a, a GTO bot. So, <laughs> I mean, that's think about it. Like in terms of EV, like if you if you pay like fifteen thousand dollars to get a GTO program, then you have to make back fifteen thousand dollars in poker profits using that GTO before you're even break even. So, I mean, it's the cost of doing business, but I'm not about to drop fifteen G's on a freaking bot, dude. <laughs> now I'm just getting bad hands. So this guy keeps shoving because he's he knows the probability that we have a hand that's in the top of the range is very low, but that's a risky strategy. It's basically like the equivalent of scalping in trading, which is that it works until it doesn't. So he'll he's gonna run his stack up a bit, but if he keeps doing that, eventually one of us is gonna call him and beat him, and then he's gonna blow up. I'm gonna find out what he's got. See, just raising like that it actually works pretty well. I wouldn't do it every time, but it's it's uh it's not bad. This is a positive EV hand, but I'm not gonna mess with it right now. Actually, if I'd known he was going to fold, I would have done that. I would have called. Probably should have called it. It's at the very bottom range of positive EV hands. This is not a positive EV hand. So, like, here's the thing with this. I am big blind, but to me, over the the rule of large numbers dictates that this hand in the long run can only lose money. So I'm, fors I'm forsaking my blind. I don't want to lose anything more. Thankfully, they both folded, so I didn't lose my blind. But... That's just a cut, like in trading, cut your losses. That's cutting your losses. When you have a negative EV hand in the big blind, you rarely want to play it unless you think you can get away with a bluff. That hand doesn't have enough EV to call a 3,000 chip raise, which is about 10% 10, 10 of my stack. <coughs> I'm going to raise this. 
I can't call a shove though. I can't call that. He probably had a better hand. This is the worst hand that you can technically shove with. Damn it. Well, I didn't even get to play it. See, now everyone's going to play tight until somebody, like... This is basically, like, waiting till somebody makes a bad mistake. Like, everyone tries to play good until someone makes a mistake. So it's... This is how final tables work. Uh, people are... Very, they play very conservatively. And if somebody makes a mistake, then they get pounced on. So... Like, for example, this guy's obviously going to fold here. He's in the tank, though, but yeah, he's obviously going to fold. He had probably had a semi-decent hand, but... Like, it's basically fold anything that you can't shove with, or risk a little bit on something you can't shove with. Like, I'm not going to call that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to risk half my stack on... On, uh, on just seeing a flop with a6 offsuited. Now this hand I have to call with, so I'm gonna raise. Hopefully he, he re-raises me, shoves, thinks I'm bluffing, or thinks I don't have that strong of a hand. Nope. He folds. All right. I'm gonna fold this just since I'm not posting a blind or anything and just it's, it's a positive EV hand, but like, see, that guy just raised. So if I'd called there, I mean, technically I should call there, but he would have just taken a thousand or whatever, taken a thousand chips from me. So sometimes you play tight, sometimes you don't. Right now I'm playing tight. Obviously I'm going to lose this hand. Again, this is one of the worst hands in poker. Thankfully, they folded to me. Got lucky. But, um... There's definitely a lot of luck in poker. This is not a great hand to shove with. So I'm just going to raise, and I'm going to see what he does. I could call a shove, though. It's not great, but I could. I don't like to. I would like to have at least sevens. He's thinking about shoving. He's in the tank. Okay, he folded. That's good for me. See, that's like, you don't want to shove fives. If you're early in the tournament, then you might want to shove them just because, like, you're either just going to bust or double up. So, like, but uh, at this point, like, and fives could have won, but, like, he folded anyway. So, like, there's no point risking your whole stack or whatever, two-thirds of my stack because he's 20,000. Is this making any sense to you guys? I'm not saying my way is the objective way to play poker, by the way. It's just what I've figured out so far. I think that he had, like, aces or some shit there. Negative EV hand, I'll just cut my loss. For all I know, I could end up in third place, though. Like, these guys aren't far behind me. I'm gonna raise, see what I can do with this. They're probably, someone's gonna shove me, yeah. I have to fold. Oh well. Again, he probably had a better hand than me, or he thinks, or he's just repping one. Now, as you can see, I'm no longer chip leader. It's okay. At this point, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of does, but you're more just waiting for a lucky opportunity, to be completely honest. All right, let's see if I can get something. Come on. I'm really not getting anything. I'll limp. He's probably gonna shove me. Finally, we see a flop. Now look at this. This is a decent flop for me. I have to call. Damn, I'm fucked. I'm folding. Wow, I'm chip, and now I'm behind. Ugh, that was kind of a bad call. I should have just folded it. See, I made a mistake. Um, that's kind of how it happens. But the thing is, like, when you're that close to a flush, dude, like, some of the time you're just going to hit the flush, and then you're going to feel like a genius. I shouldn't have done that, though. See, so I made a mistake. 
Thankfully, I cut my loss before I busted out, so I have a chance to come back. Now, of course, I could have hit a flush on the river, but the probability of it was like less than 50%. It was like less than 25%, uh, I believe. I'm just going to shove here. If I lose, I lose. It's a decent enough hand. guy's a pretty good player, I'm going to be honest. His little raising half the stack is pretty interesting. Uh, I can't believe I made that mistake, though. But, that's you know, it's okay. I can come back from it. And also, one of these guys can bust out. Like, right now, one of these guys is going to bust, basically. This guy busts. So now I'm second place. I, it might not even go to first place. I might just get payout right now. We'll see. Now it's actually going to the final. Okay. Interesting. At this point, I kind of just have to get lucky. So I'm probably going to shove. A, now I play loose because I, I actually just want to beat him. And he's got the lead, so there's not much to lose. So I'm just going to shove this hand. Obviously that was a bluff, but like even if he calls like whatever, I've already I'm already second place in the tournament. This hand has no value, so I can't shove it. But yeah, now I basically just have to get lucky because he's got like th four times my chip size. I have a king, so I'll shove it, and I lose. Wait. Did I just win? Got lucky, see? With a six outer. Uh, I have to call this again if he calls it. Yeah. So anyway. Okay, I have an ace. It's obviously a shove. So this is how it looks basically, is you just get to a point where both of you are willing to agree to shove and then um, someone wins and someone loses. So it basically comes down to luck. But to get this far, like you do, there is some skill involved to get this far. Uh. Oh, that sucks for him, dude, that I had an overpair. So there we go. See, I'm about to win. I mean, you know, yeah, he could still win, but, you know, it's looking good for me right now. I just doubled back up, took all this shit, back in the lead. Now, this hand, that hand's tempting to shove with. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I, have, I have this guy way crushed right now in terms of chip size, uh, stack size, so... I'm basically going to fold a lot of stuff because at this point now, I'm only going to take the cream of the crop, right? Like I'm only going to shove when I can have actually can beat him. Otherwise, like he can have my, my chips, like a little piece at a time. I don't care. I'm just waiting to get that one. I just need an ace or a king and then I'll shove basically. Like I'm not going to call anything with this hand, right? And he knows this, though. He knows that I have to play tight now to try to protect my chip stack until I have a really good hand against him. But that's just how it works. That's just how it goes. Like, this I can shove. It's okay. Because <clears throat> I can afford to bleed longer than he can. Right? He bleeds faster than I do. But again, yeah, once you're, when you're behind like that, you have to play looser to try to catch somebody. It's te this is a tempting call. I'm going to fold it, though. Again, I haven't covered. I'm, I want a king or an ace in my hand. Queen 10 is tempting, but it won't, it won't do me any good when I call. 
I'll probably lose. So he technically has an advantage in terms of playing loose now, but I have a chip size advantage. So if he if he if he shoves at the wrong time, he's he's done. Thank God he folded that against two. By the by the way, seven deuce is not the worst hand in poker. In case you didn't know that, seven two offsuit. It's three two offsuit is actually technically the worst hand in poker. Even though it can make a straight, its probability of winning is lower than a seven. Okay, that's a shove hand. Nice. And this basically, this just keeps going until somebody, I, I will shove this hand by the way. It's a pair, it's a pair, I'll call. And I win. There you go, baby. I just won the tournament. How about that? How about that? I got 10 chips. Isn't that awesome though? So yeah, like clearly I'm doing something right. You know, I even made that one mistake, but I came back from it. So there's definitely some, there's some luck involved in, uh, all right, now how do I leave the table? I don't know, whatever, it's frozen. Anyway, thanks for watching guys.